Why? Do you also feel tired, lose all your energy when you try to complete a subject in 10 to 12 hours at a stretch? <laughs> Don't worry, you're also like me. Hi, I'm Dr. Shomlina. I'm an MD radiology resident in a government medical college in Kolkata. I was a very mediocre student in my MBBS life and I had secured a rank of 702 in my All India Meet PG 2021 COVID batch. One thing that had always used to bug me in the offline coaching that I had took during my MBBS days was how the hell to maintain a 12 hours attention span. Continuously writing stuff and listening at the same time actively, it was not possible for me. I don't think anybody can maintain their attention span with the same zeal and enthusiasm for 12 continuous hours if they're studying the same subject. At least I personally cannot maintain my attention span for studying the same topic for more than three hours. So here's what I did during my NEET PG preparation days. Firstly, I left the offline coaching because I had joined there mainly due to peer pressure and it is very important to understand yourself and make sure you study from a platform which suits your needs. And now I was the queen of my own routine. Because I was not doing any house staff ship, what I did was I decided to give 12 hours of my 24 hours day to studying. And this 12 hours was exclusive of the time that I used to spend for brushing my teeth or going to the washroom. Now this 12 hour I used to divide into five slots. First three slots were of three hours each. Then I had a two hour slot and then a one hour slot. In the first two, three hour slot, I used to keep a, keep a heavy subject. And then the third three hour slot, I used to keep a lighter subject for myself. For example, in suppose today's day one, in the first three hour slot, I gave myself microbiology, a gram negative bacteria. So I will study gram negative bacteria as much I can in those three hours only and not extend beyond that. Yes, there would be some targets that I would give myself that how much to study in those three hours, but I will not exceed the time. Now in the next three hours, I will study another subject, uh, suppose nephrology from medicine, and I will study only three hours, whatever, how much ever I can complete. In the next three hours, I will do a lighter subject so that I do not feel overwhelmed. For example, suppose ophthalmology, I start the retina chapter and I do it for three hours and end it in three hours. In the next two hours daily for the entire period of my preparation, I used to study pharmacology because pharmacology is that was that subject for me, which I could understand that it is very important, very, very important for NEET PG. But at the same time, I had very hard time memorizing the names of the drugs, memorizing the mechanism of action, memorizing the side effects. But I did not want my inability to memorize things faster to affect my ability to perform well in the pharmacology questions during my NEET PG. So I made sure that I studied pharmacology every single day for those two hours. In that two hour slot, first one and a half hour, I used to study a new topic. And the next 30 minutes, I used to revise the topic that I had studied yesterday. Okay, so the last one hour for me was MCQ. And I did not used to solve the MCQs of the topics that I had studied that very day. I used to attempt those MCQs from the topics that I had studied four, five days earlier. But that way, this MCQ solving became a revision session for me. Whatever I could not attempt or made wrong, I would go back to that uh, subject, that topic, and read one or two lines from that. Okay, and that would not even take me one minute. So this is how I maintained my attention for the entire 12 hours without breaking my enthusiasm. But despite that, I would not be breaking my continuity of the subject that I was studying. Uh, for example, in day two also, I will keep the same subjects. Day two's first slot, first three hour slot, I would continue gram negative bacteria where I had left it the previous day. Similarly, in the second slot, nephrology, I would continue where I had left the previous day. Same for ophthalmology. So probably I will take four days, but four into three, 12 hours, I am taking the same 12 hours, but in small, small parts. And at the end of the four days, I'm able to complete the chapter that I intended to. One another important advantage of this uh, technique is suppose something happens on any day. Uh, suppose today is my day three of medicine, nephrology, and during my three hour slot of studying nephrology, guests came to my house and my two hours got wasted. Suppose I was asked to go to the sweet shop to bring sweets or I was asked to make tea. What would have happened had I kept nephrology for the entire day that day? Because my two hours were lost, that would depress me mentally for the time being and that would affect my enthusiasm to continue studying the rest of the day. So as a result, in that 12 hour slot that day also, I would not be able to complete. And I would take it on the next day. And whenever you see that you are dragging a chapter very long, you will slowly, slowly reduce your desire to study it well. Okay. But here what will happen is, if you follow this technique, out of the three hours, only two hours got wasted. And the time for nephrology ended and you will forget about that. The next three hours, you will start ophthalmology as you were supposed to. And the next two hours, as you were supposed to study pharmacology, the same, whatever you had planned, you will go on that day. Because my nephrology was did not consist of the entire day, only a small portion of the day. Two hours wasted would, would not bring down my enthusiasm 
मे बी इंस्टेड ऑफ कंप्लीटिंग द एंटायर नेफ्रोल जीन फोर डेज थ्री आवर्स इच आई विल हैव टू गिव इट अ फिफ्थ डे मेडिसिन स्लॉट ऑफ थ्री आवर्स टू आवर्स आई विल गिव फॉर नेफ्रोल जी एंड द नेक्स्ट वन आवर आई विल स्टडी ऑन न्यू चैप्टर So if you are also studying one subject single subject the entire day and are losing all interest by the end of the day do try this technique and tell me in the comment section whether it worked for you that's all for today bye bye wait for my next video